Don't seek after spiritual gifts per se for themselves. Priest man 10,000% made that video because of me. I've been doing a lot of videos on supernatural powers of the Canaanite saints. Keep in mind, I'm in agreement with this guy. I'm not just trying to blaspheme the Holy Spirit, even though I'm wearing a crazy pineapple shirt. Today we're talking about Saint Drogo. Saint Drogo was born of nobility. However, his father died right before his birth and his mother died during childbirth. This means he was left as an orphan with a butt ton of money. At 22 years of age, Saint Drogo decided to give up all of his cash, everything, except just the clothes on his back. And that's not even what's impressive. Saint Drogo is the patron saint of coffee and ugly people. Why, you ask? Because he had an unsightly hernia, as well as several boils and like a real big problem with stuff on his face. He got this disease after a pilgrimage and showed back up to town with, once again, this unsightly hernia and boils all over his face. He apparently was so absolutely hideous that he was kept inside a private cell next to the church. This was so his appearance wouldn't be so unsightly and scare the children. He spent 40 years in solitude in this cell, and the church that was next to it eventually burned out, and everything burned up except St. Drogo, who managed to escape entirely unharmed, not a burn on his body. He was also a saint that absolutely hated admiration. He did not like to be complimented, even though he was totally freaking awesome. Now, besides surviving a fire in his later years, he also had rumors of the power of bilocation. This means that he was able to be in two places at once. He was often seen tending to a sheep and also in church at the exact same time by different people that were and weren't in church that would later talk about it. This apparently happened so often that it was considered commonplace, where there came a common phrase among the people, hey, excuse me, I'm not saying Drogo. I can't ring the bell and be in the commune at the same time. But I want to go back for one second. This fire, he didn't exactly run from, it wasn't exactly like he escaped. He actually stayed there while everything burned down and still somehow didn't burn up. And the thing is, he, the whole time, knew everything was burning down and still said, if God wants me to die here, I guess I'll just die here. But he somehow didn't die. I'm still trying to figure that one out. Like, as if by location isn't impressive. The unburnable, multi-location man, St. Drogo of Suborg.